Hello students, I am Manoj Kundare, the Assistant Professor of Electronic Science. Welcome back to our e-learning platform. In previous video, we have seen the details about the pulse code modulation techniques. The link of the previous video is available in the description box. Please check it. Now, in this video, we are going to see the frequency shift keying modulation technique. In frequency shift keying, or in FSK, the frequency of sinusoidal carrier is shifted between two discrete values in response to the value 0 or 1 of the digital input signal. One of these frequencies, F1 represents the binary 1 and the other value, F0 represents the binary 0. That means, in frequency shift keying, a sinusoidal carrier is represented by the binary level logic 0 and logic 1 by the two values of the frequencies F0 and F1. That means the frequency shift keying is the digital technique of the modulation. Okay, Here is the waveform for the FSK is shown in which there are there is a binary signal is shown 0 1 0 1 1 0 okay for this binary signal the carrier frequency changes for 0 the frequency is low for 1 the frequency is high similarly for 0 the frequency is low and for 1 the frequency of high this method is known as the frequency shift keying method okay for 0 the equation of this carrier wave is sin 2 pi f0 t and for 1 the equation of the carrier is sin 2 pi f1 t ok I hope you all understand the waveform here let's see once again it is very simple for 0 the carrier has the different frequency and for 1 the carrier has the different frequency f1 ok now let's see the FSK generator or the FSK generation. The FSK generator consists of two oscillators which produce sine waves at frequencies F1 and F0 respectively. That means the FSK generator has the two oscillators this one and this one. These are the two oscillators which generates the two carriers of the frequency F0 and frequency F1. Okay, the oscillator's outputs are applied to the inputs of the two multipliers or product modulators. That means this output of this oscillator is given to the product modulator or the multipliers. The other inputs to the two multipliers are the signals P0 and P1. Okay, when binary 0 is to be transmitted, P0 should be 1 and P1 should be 0. Therefore, the output of the first moderator only is present and the frequency of the transmitted signal is F0. Okay, when the binary 1 is to be transmitted, P0 is 0 and P1 is 1. Therefore, the output of the second modulator only is present and the frequency of the transmitted signal is F1. That means if we want to transmit the F0 frequency then P0 should be 1 at same time P1 should be 0. If P1 is P0 is 0 and P1 is sorry let's see once again if P0 is 1 and P1 is 0 then this product modulator 1 is enabled while product modulator 2 is disabled hence only the F0 is transmitted. Similarly if we want to transmit the F1 then we have to make P1 equal to 1 and P0 equal to 0. When we give this type of combination of P1 is equal to 1 and P0 is equal to 0 
then product modulator 2 enables at the same time product modulator 1 is disables hence the output frequency f1 is given to the bandpass filter i hope now you all understand the process the fsk receiver generates the original digital signal from fsk signal at its input okay at its input the receiver consists of two bandpass filters one with center frequency f0 and other with the center frequency of f1 that means the fsk detector generates or regenerates the original signal from the fsk signal how it is done it is done with this circuitry the circuitry consists of two bandpass signals or two bandpass filters okay which filters the frequency f0 and frequency f1 the envelope detectors are the simple diode detectors which rectify and filter their inputs these are the two envelope detectors this detector is used for this bf1 and this detector is used for bf2 okay the operation or the working of this detector is to rectify and filter the outputs to generate the dc voltage proportional to the ac inputs okay now suppose binary 1 is received suppose at this input binary 1 is received that means the received signal will be v b f s k at the time t is equal to sine 2 pi f1 t okay thus bpf1 will pass the signal to the d1 that means when one is received then this bandpass filter is activated and this pass the signal towards the d1 the output of bpf2 will be zero this will be zero hence the output of d2 is also zero therefore the comparator output will be positive representing logic 1 that means here is we get 1 similarly we can show this process if here we receive 0 then bpf2 enables that means the output of the bpf2 is 1 d2 is 1 at the same time d1 is 0 bpf1 is 0 and this output represents the 0 or the negative logic thus original data is recovered by the receiver i hope you all understand the fsk generation and the detection process let's see once again in this generation process what happens let's see on this diagram okay In FSK generator, there are two carrier or the two oscillators which are used to generate the two carrier signals of having frequency F0 and frequency F1. Okay, the output of the two oscillator are given to the product modulator 1 and product modulator 2. The other inputs of this product modulator are P0 and P1. The, this P0 and P1 determines which product modulator is enabled. If we want to transmit frequency F0, then at the same time P1 should be equal to 1, sorry, P0 is equal to 1 and P1 equal to 0. Then this model, product modulator 1 is enabled and this is disabled. Okay, hence F0 is transmitted towards the bandpass filter. If we want to transmit the frequency signal F1, then the combination of P0 and P1 is such as P0 must be 0 and P1 must be 1. Then the product modulator output is enabled and this is that of the product modulator first is disabled. Okay, hence at the bandpass filter we get the frequency F1. I hope you all understand 
the FSK generation process. The band limited FSK signal or the signal is mathematically represented by P0 into sin 2 pi F0 t plus P1 into sin 2 pi F1 t. Okay, I hope you all understand FSK generation process. Similarly, we can see the FSK detection process. In FSK detection process, what happens here? Let's see. Here we get the BP binary phase frequency shift keying signal is received. This circuit is used to generate original signal from this binary frequency shift keying signal. This signal is contains 1 and 0. If we get here 1 or if 1 bit is received then BPF1 is enabled at the same time BPF2 is disabled hence its output is 0 the D2 is disabled hence its output is 0 D1 gives the output 1 hence the comparator output is 1 if we get the bit 0 here then BPF1 that means band pass filter 1 is 0 Hence, D1 is also 0, but at the same time, BPF2 is 1, hence D2 is 1, hence the we get comparator 0. I hope you all understand the process here. Now, let's see the advantages of frequency shaped keying. FS key is relatively easy to implement. It has better noise immunity. There are some disadvantages of FSK such as the major disadvantage is its high bandwidth. Therefore, frequency shift keying is extensively used in low speed modems having bit rates below 1200 bits per second. The FSK is not preferred for the high speed modems. That means the FSK is mainly used in low speed applications. I hope you all understand all the things about frequency shift keying method. Thank you.